Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Transport Fever 2. Actually, I don't need to because I've got that one. So really, I just want to come down here and I want to have a bus stop next to the station over there. And what I might do is not use that one in the main loop so i've got one there that will come down and then that bus is going to go over this way come down there no he'll, he'll he's got to go over to there he's got to come down he's got to run over here so we will put a bus stop there and then he'll run back round and he'll run into over here so there's that bit done. So then I can go to lines and we go new line. The first one will go from there. That right there is its first stop. He goes straight out there. Over this way. He takes that one. That's the second stop. There's the third stop over there. Quite why he's got to turn like that, I don't really know. Why are you having to do that? Oh, because that's turning off coming this way, isn't it? Look. That one, he's he's coming out there, but they don't lane change. They refuse, they absolutely refuse outright to do any lane changes. Which really doesn't help anything at all, does it? So that one there... He's not going to be able to use that unless the bus goes down. I think we will just send the bus down around there. Because I don't want the bus going off down a different route and then swapping around. So if I get rid of that one and then I put the bus stop over there, that will be on the right side. So I'll put, that, I'll put that one over there like that. And then we go back into here. That's Church Street. I've already added Church Street in. So we'll add in another station, which is going to be that one over there, North Street. And then he's going to come up here. He's still got that weird bit. Why have you got that weird bit? Right, you don't need that. Oh, he's tur he's t that's because he's turning off, and that's a one-way street down there. If I got rid of that, still wouldn't do it. The only thing I can think of is to remove the Highfield Road one completely. Or, no, I can't, ah, uh, it's because that is one way down through there. Let's get in the rest of this circuit first. We want to go up there for high street. Happy customers are good customers. Surveys have shown that potential for optimization exists in various sectors. Passengers are complaining that train cars are too cramped. The train stations overcrowded and about the lack of culinary options in the bistro dining car. What's more, the trains ought to run more frequently. Satisfy the customers by meeting their various needs. Right, so we've got more various needs that meet. It's the half-filled trains and trains maintained at the moment that we're trying to work on up there, but we won't worry about those for a minute. I need to add in New Street there. And then finally, I want to come. So I could just go straight back into Tokyo Transfer and I could ignore that station. Actually, I can ignore that station over there. That one doesn't matter. So we'll get rid of that one. That one can go completely. And the Tokyo Transfer bit comes in there and then it finishes. So the only issue I've got is this one over here. And I think what I want to do is I want to turn that road there into a one way. I've only got people going one direction on it anyway. And I'm hoping that that's going to change how... Do I want to do a three lane? I'll do that as a two lane. I'll turn you round and that will go only that direction. There. Like that. And I get rid of that. And then we'll have a look at this. And now I've got it doing a full loop all the way round there. Which I really, really don't like. So we will get rid of a section... And then I'll see what it does. It's going right. Really? It really is not going to remove that at all, is it? What if I remove that bit? Now what are you going to do? Now it's actually going to... It's actually going to do what we need it to do now. 
Instead of going around in pointless circles, doing absolutely nothing, it is now actually going to do what we need it to do in here. But that makes no sense whatsoever. So I, I've got to put this. Um, I've got to put this one back. So you got to go from there. You got to go back onto there, like that. And now we've got it doing this again. Do I need to remove Highfield Road? Maybe I need. The only thing that I could do is remove Highfield Road in order to make that work. That's the that's the only way we're going to be able to do this, or take Church Street out completely. I don't really want to remove Church Street from this. Uh, take that one out. It's still doing stupid loops. Absolutely ridiculous. It, it doesn't need to make loops like that. It absolutely doesn't. Like why, why is it forcing it to make really ridiculous loops like that? If I put this one over here, though, on that side, is that going to work? Because the way the road goes... Like the, the direction of the third street on there. I think that one's going to be in the wrong place. Maybe if I was to move it up there a little bit. Hmm. Yeah, that's that's not working. Right, so... Highfield Road up there. That's not going to work. Although... What we could do is we could... Like, I did have an extra station down here. So we could just sort of go along with this and drop the extra one in here somewhere. I'll drop that one in there. And then go back into here, which was going to be that one, and put you there like that. So I've got that extra bit of street back. And then we'll go into here. So we go after Mill Road there and then add that station king's road and then it will go back up round and it will do highfield road over there and then it will go north street so it will do it it's just it's got to go that way it's unable to do a lane transfer for whatever reason the game refuses to allow a lane transfer so we will accept that we'll accept that it can't do lane transfers and we will move on so I've got that line. I want to add a new line in here. This one is going to be Tokyo transfer over to Queens Road and then back again. That's all it's going to be. We're just going to be running the station on that one. And there are no others. So next I need to get a load of vehicles. I reckon we'll have six vehicles running that and we'll have 12 vehicles running the main Tokyo um, circuit. As I've now got all of the roads connected, I don't need to do anything other than just look in here to do it. We can come down there and go to the Hamatsu Road Depot. What I am going to do is I'm going to go over to the Hamatsu Road Depot. Because I'd like to see all of our vehicles come pouring out of here. All of the buses and then head off into the wild blue yonder. Wide blue yonder or wild blue yonder? One or the other. Uh, the Fuso B46 takes 10 and does up to 50k. This one takes 12 and does up to 60k. So I want 18 of these all together. Like that. That's going to be $4 million. And with those 18, I'm going to want to put 6 of them on the first... Well, the second line that I made, so we want to set that color there for those, and they will go out onto line nine. And then the remaining 12 vehicles, they are going to be green, and they are going to go out onto line eight. So they are set like that. Out they go. There is our fleet of buses for Tokyo, heading off to Tokyo. And looking absolutely glorious in the front. Look at them go. Okay, they actually look pretty good. I like these. They're off. They are heading back to Tokyo. 
Now, while we're waiting for that to happen, we got food deliveries to make and, and just little things like that. But uh, the other thing that we're also wanting to do is... I've got the stations here with passengers. We, we just don't have enough passengers. So I want to go to Manage Vehicle in here. And then I want to go to Edit Selected Vehicle. Now, this is what we've got in the middle of it, but... I'm not able to remove a set number of carriages. I can do that. But I can't do anything else with it. So we've got diesel in here. We've got electric. Dr. Yellow is a nickname for the high-speed test train. And then the Shinkansen series. I put that one in. I haven't got any other options. Passenger wagons. Steam. And this is the only other trains that I've got. So I've, I've got cargo wagons in there. Electric there. And then I've got this Russian one right here. This is a top speed of 100k. These electric ones, these are 220. And that's 220 as well. So these are the only ones that I've got. They've got a capacity of 160 people. What am I supposed to do with that? This is the bit that I don't like. Is I can't, I literally cannot do anything about it. I can't reduce the number of people that are supposed to be going on the station. Um, I mean, I can try going on to line five over here. We could remove the second bit on Nagoya over there so that I'm going Tokyo, Nagoya, Osaka, and then all the way back to Tokyo. So it's a longer round trip. Remove that. Maximum waiting time. Uh, we'll go two minutes on the waiting time. Achieve minimal frequency. But it's no half-field... How am I supposed to do no half-field trains and have them going fast? That makes absolutely no sense to me at all. And then we look on here. Load if available. Full load any, full load all. No, we'll, we'll we'll stick with the one that we've got right there. Now, what about you? Load level 10%. No, I, I, I want to stick that like that. I, I want to keep that one the same. Maximum waiting time. We go one minute maximum waiting time. Maybe that can help. And you come into the station right there. And then you've got... Well, now we've got the bus coming through. We've got 32 people getting onto that train right there. That bus stop is definitely going to help, I think. 32 people are on board that train. And he's away straight away. He's, he's rushing off. But whether it's going to stay with just 32. Uh, also, the frequency up here, that's going to be different. Now, what about you, Jamie? I've got Patrick selected at the moment. There's Jamie. He's got 42 people on board. But we've got a one minute wait time, haven't we? So that one minute wait time, that's going to make a difference. Now, we've got 15 people in there. Over this side, I've got line 8 and line 9. I haven't got anybody there. I've got a lot of people running backwards and forwards onto the station over here. No overcrowded cargo stations. I'm still struggling with that. But the half-filled trains, this is a major, major problem for me. This is a very major problem for me. And in come these people right here. I've got five people on board there. And they're coming out. Do I need more buses? Is that what we need? In order to keep people moving around... 39 people. That's I've, I've got nowhere near enough people coming into this station in order to be able to get on here. i got nowhere near enough. And the frequency that we're coming through, that's no good. It was a load of people coming in there. 47 there. That's, that's uh, 48. We're up, we're up to 50, 55. 
That's, we're going to go beyond halfway at this rate. All right, so maybe, maybe there is yet hope. I don't know if I need to have more buses. But it does, I mean, I got 70 people. There's still not even a half-filled train yet. And I need more than that. And he's technically only waiting for one minute. And I don't know if that's one minute after the last passenger gets on board or if that's one minute in total. So it's 79 people there. There's two buses have come in in quick succession right there. And they've both dumped a few people out. Not very many, though. There's only three. 80. If I get one more passenger there, that's gone past no half-filled trains. That's gone past halfway. No overfilled. I need trains maintained now. So now all I need to do is upgrade the trains. Manage vehicle. I do that. Replace selected vehicles with those. Uh, there are two vehicles to be replaced. Oh, wait. No, I, I, I don't want to do that. Replace the minus 47 million. I've only got 9 million in my account. I can't do that yet. That's a bit unfortunate. I was actually there, but the train's maintained. I can't do that because I don't have the money. I don't have the money coming in just yet. And we're going to have to wait for that a little bit. So what about the other station over here? That's, that's over this way. I haven't got anybody in there, which means the train is down here on this side. And he's got 128 people on board his train. He's doing very nicely. 138 people there. He's he's soon going to be ready to actually go flying off up the track. And he's going all the way to Tokyo. I've got a road that runs between the rest of the stations. But I've only got $8 million. Ooh, I wonder. I wonder. Maybe, maybe I could do this as a loan instead. And how are you doing? You've got 99 people. You're a little bit slower. Maybe I should have more buses coming. Oh, I think I've got enough buses. I think that loop is sufficient. It And the other... Yeah, I've got enough buses. No overcrowded cargo stations. We'll soon be able to do that. But it's, it's the the loan. Now, I haven't actually taken out a loan. So we've got there. i got loan total. Borrow 500. How much loan can I get? Get as much loan as I can possibly get. I did pay some loan back. I don't know how much it's going to let me have. It's only letting me borrow in half a million increments, and I need, like, probably 40 million. Well, we'll, we'll try 40 million in a minute, and I want to go to Manage Vehicle. Go to both of those. I want to replace Select Vehicle, so I want to replace you. Uh, add there. Replace for 47.8 million. That's going to cost me 47.8 million. Uh, 47.5 million per vehicle, minus old vehicle. All right, let's not do that for a second, because I still need the no overcrowded cargo stations bit to work. So I need to go back down here. This is where the overcrowding is. That one's fine. I'm pretty sure this is the only place where the overcrowding is. There's no, uh, there's, there isn't any other overcrowding at the moment, unless it's over there. Ah, you've got some overcrowding. This will never do. Configure. I want to go to cargo. Drop that down there like that. Okay, how much cargo is that going to make me put out? I go like that. That's no longer overcrowded there. That's... Still saying 80%. That one's not overcrowded. The fish over here, well, technically they're not overcrowded either. So let's go like that until it stops with the overcrowding thing again. Because it has been sort of there. Right, perfect. That is not overcrowded. So now I can go back into... I got 40 
8 million at the moment. 7 million. I can borrow a little bit more. It's going to take me up to 50 million like that. And then I can go over here to Jamie right there. Manage vehicle. He's got 102 people on board. And I'm going to go like that. And I'm going to replace those with the Shinkansen Zero series like that. 48 million dollars to replace both of them like that very good excellent Thanks to your prudent management avoidable efficiency losses were able to be reduced to a minimum okay i really didn't think i was gonna be able to do that but with some creative bank management and some creative work we did manage to just about pull it off the next big challenge Deliver food to the main office is fine, but achieve minimal frequency. Oh, we can do minimal frequency now. We no longer need to be waiting. It Like, um, the quality improvement bit. Thanks to your prudent management, avoidable efficiency losses were able to be reduced to a minimum. Okay, so we've got that bit done. So now I no longer need to force the trains to wait for excessive amounts of time. So I can change this back to this one. Like that. And they will rush off again. And this now we don't need them to be waiting. They'll just pull in. They will take whatever passengers happen to be there. And then they will rush away again. And hopefully that will be the way that things stay. So it's only going to be one way for um, Nagoya. Actually, you know what? I could change the station for Nagoya again as well so that we have an additional stop on here. So if I pause that a second, instead of running straight up to Tokyo from there, I go to line manager, line five, add station... And put Nagoya Platform 2, Terminal 2, yeah, that's perfect, on there. And then they can carry on with that. So we've got the additional terminal right there on Nagoya. And let me just pause that a second because I want to see who... How many Patrick... He's got 159 people on board. That's a pretty good rate, that is. That, that is a, a pretty good amount of people that we've got on board. And there goes Jamie. Oh, that side. 197, 200 kilometers an hour we're doing now. And we're heading on up to 220. We're about to go through the tunnel. Quite a long tunnel this one is, but it's not going to take us very long to get through it. And bursting out the other side straight into the Tokyo countryside and then we're going to run into the main city and you can see the city on the horizon up over there is looking absolutely wonderful now if I look on here because you won't see the number come up on here there 11 million dollars just came out of that particular train right there and now we've got 55 people on board so we've got the minimal frequency 444 out of 120 152 but I also need to deliver food to the main office so that is another thing that we've got to go and get so I've got food over here Tokyo food processing plant I don't have anything happening with this one at the moment I have got a farm over here so we'd be uh, well all I actually need to do is put a new stop over this side and we will go, so we'll go into there, and we'll go to our buildings, we'll go to a truck station. I definitely don't need that kind of quantity. We'll put the 30 meter ones on, and I will drop that one right down there like that. And I tell you what, so that it's closer to the city over there, we can drop it in there like that. And that's all I need to do with that one. So then I want a line that goes from over here... Nagoya South. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me just double check. Yes, that does cover both of them. So I need to take a new line that goes from Nagoya South over there. 
which will take the cows. And I need to take that line over to Hamatsu Branch. And from there, I don't need to have a separate line doing the run, do I? I only need to have one because then the other one is the head office one, which is here. So they will run into there, Hamatsu West, to drop off the cargo there. And then they will go back and they will get the cattle and then they will run them all the way up through over to here. So we've just got one run between them. And I think we're going to be wanting 20 vehicles for that particular run. So if I go now into the vehicles in here and I go to Hamatsu Road Depot, buy vehicles. And the traditional flatbed truck should be absolutely perfect for that. So I want 20 of these like that. That is 4.7 million. Buy all of those. We will tick them like that and we will put them purple and we will set line, line 10. And out they go. So there is that next bit all taken care of and done. And actually, they will all come out of here. There we go. We've got a big long line of purple trucks. Hundreds and hundreds of them. And um, yeah, I kind of missed most of those. Never mind, that's fine. Uh, we're down to 390 on 120 for... Um, minimal frequency. We'll need to buy another train. That's what we're going to end up having to do is buying another train. That's, that's not going to be a problem. It won't be difficult to buy another train. We can soon cope with that bit. Let them run through a little bit. So we've got these lot all queuing up down here now and currently there's a little bit of material coming over so we get we're like we some of the trucks are taking some. We got I got five cows on there. Oh, six cows on that one now. And then the next one. So we're, we're taking a few for each of them. Right? And there, there is a big old queue here waiting. Then the vehicles, they need to run all the way back through. Coming up on... Oh, excuse me. Coming up on this road over here. I'm going to follow him like this. So there's our cattle. We come up to the road up here and then we turn off. Going, you know what? I'm actually going to do this. I'm going to bring you out that way. Over there. I'm going to go over this way a little bit. There, so that you can see that truck just a little bit better. And go back down over there. And there's our route that we're taking. We're going up over all of this wiggliness. Down around through here. Into the town. It's a little bit weird watching it like this. We should bring it round to the front a little bit. Okay, that's actually quite cool. And the, and the truck itself does look pretty good as well. Uh, that, that truck does look quite awesome. And it's, it's the way that it's steering as well. I, I'm, I'm not yet... You know, I, I don't I never fail to be impressed with the way that it does all the steering and that. Um, with the models on the roads. So like, there is a lot of attention. It's even using indicators. So it's coming into the station in here he's going to unload in a minute. Now, is he going to have any processed food? He's already got some processed food to take. He's got five food right there. Six food now. And we're away again. So I press escape and then it goes out and it goes back in. So we've got six food on board. And we take that with us straight back over this way. No trains anywhere nearby. And that will then run right the way through town here, and it will go over to Central. And as soon as we've gotten to there, so it will come right through the middle of the town in here. And then we back up the busy um, extra road that I put up around there. Look at them go. Look at them go. It's quite cool watching them take the crossroads like that. Uh, so, yeah, he will make the delivery there for Central, and then he will head back over to... Well, unfortunately, folks, that is all we've got time for today. Sometimes even our fantastic pilots, train drivers, and lorry drivers, and bus drivers, and boat drivers, and all the other drivers need a little bit of rest. So while they rest up and have a cup of tea... If you've enjoyed the episode, could you please head down below and give us a like? And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.